everyone. It's, wow, what day is it? Thursday. I'm also short vlogging today because I am not feeling amazing, hence we haven't been for a walk. Yeah, I've had a funny tummy, mainly. A bit of fibro pain, a bit of a headache. So, and also we've got someone coming to look at that line in the TV at 9.30. So it's about 25 minutes from now. I've just had my shower. So we have breakfast. That so would have been really, well, I really wouldn't have had time to do the walk and have my shower and get ready in that today. <laughs> so, but I have decided it's going to be a hot day today. It's going to be 27 or something, maybe 28. So I'm going to pop the puppies in the pool. I may even join them <laughs> if I'm brave enough because the pool will probably still be chilly. But the heat is on, but it probably won't get warmed up enough in time. Though I, I might, I'm going to try and be brave and <laughs> go in. <laughs> One of my goals this year is to um, embrace cold water swims a bit more. So we'll see. <laughs> see if I can do it. I'm thinking I might just jump in literally without feeling at first. That might be the way to go. <laughs> then you can't chicken out. <laughs> anyway, I'm um, going to have some breakfast. I've got some bread. I think I'll just try and find a veggie patty and make a veggie patty sandwich. I'll have to do spinach today since I have no lettuce left. Sad days indeed. But anyway. Yeah, and I'm sort of standing here. So I just really... Not the greatest today, but it's okay. I have got an appointment. I've got to go see my dermatologist. I think my appointment's 10.40, so I've got to do that this morning. So it's like, all sort of happening this morning. <laughs> got the appointment. I'm going to see if I can find a lettuce near locally. Like, there's a few shops near. I'm going to have a little sticky beak. Otherwise, we'll get our groceries, do a, a Coles pickup tomorrow I want Kevin to go down and do that since we're still on a restriction the restrictions do ease on Monday because we've reached 70 percent double dosed I think in New South Wales now I believe that's the case so um, a lot of our restrictions ease lockdown ends stay at home order ends not quite sure what we can do from there but um, I know that restaurants and cafes are opening and gyms are opening so things are opening up which will be good as we are into spring but uh, the only thing we really want to do is go into Shell Cove and have a look around there a bit more since we've done a lot of planting and stuff. And just, you know, to go to the source and things like that. That's really all we want to do. <laughs> um, particularly, I think, besides going the road home. So I'm not sure when we can go away yet. Um, we do have a few weekends booked. And I've still got to tell you a better holiday that we've booked, but again, I'll do that later on because I haven't got time right now to go into it. So we'll do that definitely in today's vlog because I talked about it yesterday briefly. All right, I have my breakfast and then I'm going to take the doggies over next door. I might take the doggies over next door first. Then I'll get my brekkie and then, yeah, and then the sort of the morning's going to be gone by the time I get back probably pretty much. But we'll just see if I manage to do anything today. Hopefully I can get a few bits done in the zone, but it might just be one of those days where nothing besides the dog, which the dog dinners, which it just released, <laughs> get done. Where's Frodo Bear? Oh, he's in there. He's in there. Oh my gosh. Run free! <laughs> hey, funny pups. You're getting everyone today. As you can see, we have no white line now. Much better. Uh, they came early. <laughs> I was just dropping the dogs down next door when I saw them pull up outside. So, luckily, I didn't go for a walk and try and get ready before they came because that wouldn't have happened. Isn't that a stunning turtle? How beautiful is that turtle? Oh, it's just gone. Might be the same one. Now, I'm just going to upload a video and download some photos and bits and pieces so I've got half an hour till I need to leave just done our order from Coles okay we can go and pick that up in the morning now it's time for me to head off for my appointment or get ready for head off my appointment not feeling good still so maybe it's because it's gonna be hot today I don't know who knows but it's okay just I won't get done what I had hoped to get done but fibro happens 
Not life happens in my case, it's fibro happens. <laughs> That's all done. Who's happy with me? <laughs> no issues. It was just a free monthly check after having the melanoma. Whenever I had that, <laughs> apparently get three monthly checks for two years. So I've got another one in January, and I was feeling absolutely horrid on the way here. Oh my goodness! I actually really contemplated just turning around, going back home, and ringing up and canceling my appointment, but. I was just hopeful it would pass and I did by the time I got here I was feeling okay just my, my stomach and my head and just maybe I've got a little bit of maybe a migraine my head's not that bad but I was feeling horrible anyway it's okay I'm all right now so that's good not brilliant but a lot better than I was I went and had a look at a little shop here it's an Asian supermarket but they didn't have any lettuce they had all the other Asian greens but no lettuce so I think I'll just make like a little salad, like pretty much what I, what I had yesterday, but instead of using a, a little bit of lettuce, I'll just use a bit of spinach and then just make up the salad as I had it. So it'll be a, a lettuce -less salad, <laughs> but it'll be yummy still. Then I'll be at lunch because it's going to be so warm. It's not too bad, it's already 22, but it's going to be 27 or 28 today, so good day for a nice mango salad for lunch. All right, I'm going to have like a my water because I'm thirsty. Head home, and see how I feel. One day you'll stop eating whatever the yucky stuff is he's eating. There's a drain down the side of mum and dad's and he's eating something out of it or licking something out of it because it's all over his face and then he smells. I'll give him a greenie or something to freshen up his breath as well. <laughs> I'm not trying to drown your coat. <laughs> Sorry darling, it's probably a bit hard but if you stop doing that you won't have to have those little face washes. Right, let's get you something to freshen up your breath. We'll go with one of the little ones. Give you a dental thing. Where's the, where's the opening for this? I can't open it. I can't do this one handed today. chat with dad and I thought before I start making lunch and I'm going to clean those that bin drawer I thought I'll just um fill you guys in on that news that I talked about earlier so last weekend we'll talk Kevin and I having a chat well Kevin really needs a holiday he hasn't had like a proper holiday since 
like December 2019. So through the whole pandemic, he's had work trips. So he's had a few days off here and there, some weekends away, but not actually like any longer than a few days. So I've scored holidays accompanying him on work trips. <laughs> so I'm okay, but he hasn't had a holiday and he really, really needs one and wants one. So I'm kind of thinking what we could do um, sort of around our wedding anniversary, which is in December, thinking that might be a good time for a holiday. And Kevin brought up going on the Indian Pacific Railway train, which is a, a famous train trip. It goes from it goes Sydney, Adelaide, and then Perth. But this it's super expensive. I've looked at it before because it's something he's always wanted to do, and it's so expensive, it's quite ridiculous. So we always say, say, no, it's too expensive, too expensive. It's hard to justify spending all that money on, you know, a three-night train trip to go across Australia. But I thought we looked at it again, thinking, oh, there won't be anything available probably. And there was. So <laughs> I thought, well, Kevin hasn't had a holiday. It's obviously he earns the bulk of the income in the family. So it's up to him how he wants to spend that really, I, I think anyway, within reason. So we decided we'd book to Adelaide. So. We've done that and also we scored because he wanted to go to the fancy premium class <laughs> not really splurge again because he hadn't had a holiday for nearly w two years since he's had a holiday so we decided to splurge or he wanted to splurge and go fancy premium uh which gives you like a double bed in the thing rather than bunk beds which is in gold class so we've done that but then we're over to his points so it's actually only cost only costing guys half we're paying half in cash half points so Kind of works out a little bit more, you know, economical and we haven't had to pay the full amount in cash. So, use our points. <laughs> so that's good. So that's exciting. So that leaves on the 1st of December to Adelaide. It's only one night. I think we're on board for like 24 hours. Uh, so, he's very excited about that and it'll be a fun experience and we'll see how we go. And if, hopefully we don't like it too much because I said it's super expensive. <laughs> so, we don't want to fall in love with it too much and go... We want to do more tra overnight train travel because in Australia the fancy train trips are pretty expensive. Anyway, if we like it we might do one another time, but who, who knows. So we've got that, so we're going to Adelaide, so we'll have a couple of nights in Adelaide and then hire a car probably and have a few more days exploring a bit further afield I think. At the moment we can't even get into South Australia, but I'm ho we're pretty hopeful that by December we'll be able to. If not, we'll, we'll have to cancel this trip and go another time. <laughs> so, we'll see. Um, fingers crossed that that will happen. Oh, I was going to tell you something else. I don't know what it was now. I believe I already told you we booked our flights to to Paris and back. Pretty sure I've already told you that. We did that a few weeks back as well. Hmm. I can't remember what the other thing was. Hopefully it'll come to me later on and I'll tell you then. But for now, I am going to clean up the bin drawer and make some lunch. I don't know, it's too hot to sit outside. I might have a, have a seat. It's 26 degrees, so it's probably not too bad. Sit in the shade, it might be quite nice. And I'm going to work on a bit more plans for Adelaide, for the Adelaide trip and see if I can work out how long we need to do things. This is a drawer before. As you can see, oh. As you can see, the drawer does need a clean. Vacuum first and then clean. And not even two minutes later, <laughs> the bin drawer looks all better. Well, I really didn't feel like doing the bins and I nearly didn't do them. And then I thought, oh, I better just get them done. As you can see, I need to wipe down as well as clean the inside. So I'll attend to them as well.
we go, all nice and clean. Oh, it's probably bagging that one. I'm gonna have lunch outside. Got my iPad and stuff made a bit. I'm trying to vlog. <laughs> so I'm gonna have lunch outside. It's this beautiful day. It's a bit warm, but I think it'll be okay. Nice little one to put Coda in the pool, but I'm just looking and there's lots of little bits and pieces in the pool. So, which is all that will get stuck in this fluff. I don't know. i think about it. Let's see, it's pretty warm out here. Well, they just went back inside. Should we let them back inside? You but just take the buttons out with you. Well, it doesn't usually go with it just because you're in there. They put them on and stay in or out. tonight's dinner. This is stir Chinese stir fry, I think it was, using a packet. Mixed with the TVP beef strips. 